I've begun by wanting to talk about these angles in a concise way. Okay, so I'm trying to prove similarity here. Um, I'm looking for triangle A, B, C, this big one around the edge. Uh, and I want to compare it to triangle A, C, D, this smaller one in here. Okay, now tell me, not a rhetorical question, what jumps out at you? They're both isosceles triangles. Yeah. They're both isosceles triangles. <laughs> so that makes it easy to work with. They're similar. So therefore, probably angles is the easiest way to go. Because when you're getting to the reasoning, all you need to say is equiangular rather than the ratio of the blah, blah, blah is in proportion. That's, that's long. I'm trying to save time here. Okay. And I have some information about angles. So I'm going to call this guy over here phi just to go along with theta. Okay. If that's phi... Where I'm going to go straight to is, therefore, in this small triangle, I'm going to go to ACD. You see that up there? Right? ACD up there is also equal to phi. Here's the way that I state it. You can talk about isosceles triangle if you like. But I will say ACD equals phi, and my reason is equal angles are opposite equal sides. Now, just before I finish this reason, um, the reason I'm saying it this way is because I know that ABC is isosceles because they've actually told me, but in the question, they haven't actually told me that ACD is isosceles. I can see that it is, but nowhere in the question does it actually state it. What the question does state is that there are equal sides. See that? A. A. That's given. You see, it's a small nuance. You're going to lose a mark over it? Probably not. But I think this is a more accurate way to say it. Like, I want to use less information, not more. Okay. Speaking of that triangle, like, I'm about to say the same thing, but about a different triangle. And there's one, two, three triangles at least here. So I'm going to say that's in that triangle. Okay? You happy with that? Um, if we're in the same triangle, I would say similarly, but it's not. So I'm going to say also... Uh, this guy over here, also phi, right? A, B, C. Uh, so, yep. if you had, like, because I didn't see that, yep. um, if, if you, like, got stuff that proves that it's um, similar, but it's not, like, one of, like, it's not, nice, like, it's just all over the place. So I just kind of just said, like, one side and the angles, are, like, one angle is equal, one side is equal, and two sides are proportional, so it is. Like, I did very, like, okay. let's let me get to the um, okay. it's worth it's worth coming back to that point okay. how about I get to the end of this similarity proof it won't take me long and then I will address the wider question of similarity because we will get to that as an exercise and it's worth saying a few things about it okay um, where am I okay so I have a bunch of angles right this is all I need I, I've got all of the pieces in place now so I'm interested in these two triangles a b c and <clears throat> excuse me a c d Equiangularity is the easiest proof to do. I just need two angles, two pairs of angles, I should say, right? CAD, the one I started with, is common. It's in both triangles. CAD is common. Okay, and then I just went and proved these two, right? So I can say ACD is equal to ABC. I just showed you why, okay? Two pairs of angles. Therefore, similar. And of course, my reason is equiangular. Sorry, that's a bit messy. You get the idea. Okay. Now, here is where I'll pause to make a note in answer to your question about like, okay, like, uh, how do I actually say like, what, what kinds of things do I put in here and what's going to constitute? Okay. In triangles, we've got similarity and we've got congruence, right? Similarity, congruence. And they're really like, you know, brothers, okay? For congruence, there are four proofs, right? Four proofs for congruence. Easiest one. S, S, S. Give me another one. S, A, S. Give me another one. Okay, I'll put R, H, S here. I want to follow a pattern here, so I'm going from sides to angles. Okay, pause. Four ways to prove congruence. If you haven't already spotted it, there are four ways to prove similarity. And they are exactly the same. Think about it, okay? S, S, S. What you need is 
Um, and I'm going to use the abbreviation, but I'm going to say what it is. Okay. I want three sides in proportion rather than um, rather than equal, because similarity is easier, isn't it? S A S, right? Because it's it's you know it's not ass, right? So the point is the angle is between the two sides, right? Okay. So you've got two sides in proportion, and you've got the included angle, right? The one in between. It has to be in between, otherwise you're an ass, right? And you can make two triangles which have pairs of sides in proportion and the angles elsewhere, and they are not similar. It must be included. Okay. What's the similarity proof that corresponds to this? Two angles. Just two angles. It's just two angles. It's just two angles. Once you've got two, you have the third. What's what the side does is locks in the size of the triangle, right? Uh, of course, this one, it's got the exact same thing except the long wordy thing, okay? Now, just a quick note, right? And see if you can answer it in terms of the three principles I gave you this morning. Why is it that here, three letters are fine, and over here, you've got to write an essay? Why? It's not a rhetorical question. Come on, you can think of why. It's exactly the same. You have to describe it. make it clear. Okay, okay, so you have to make it clear, right? And when you say SSS, Three sides, well, fine. When you say SSS here, it's like, well, what about the three sides? There is something specific, a piece of information, a quality of the triangle that you haven't said anything about, namely their proportionality. So that's why there's words here, sentences, and here, letters are fine. Okay? Do you want to answer? Oh, no. I thought you would say Okay, all right. Are you happy with my similarity proof? Is that okay? All right. Yeah, Jen. Do we need to name like the angles? Because I just put like angle C A D. I I did this just so I didn't have to say so many angles. Oh, okay. I, that's why I introduced okay. phi or x or whatever. Um, well, there's already an x. So yeah, I mean it's if it's clear, if it's clear, go for it.